Next question is from Danny Bartelt. What is the best way to even out the quads? Oh. Bulgarian split squats. Yeah, Any unilateral exercise, yes. train one side at a time and allow the weaker side to dictate the reps and the weight that you use on the stronger side. And, you know, I'm going to take this even further. It, most people do not go through a two- or four-month training block where everything they do is unilateral. One of the best ways to improve your aesthetics is to develop tremendous symmetry. And, and studies support this, by the way. Studies will show that people who are considered beautiful typically have incredible facial symmetry. And this is true for the body as well. The left to right symmetry and, of course, balance between upper and lower body. And training one side at a time, doing unilateral leg exercises, unilateral arm exercises, really does develop kind of this, this side to side symmetry and balance. And then when you go back to your double arm, double leg exercises, you do notice a profound effect on your stabilization and just how you feel, how solid you feel with those lifts. And it tends to break you past, you know, plateau. I think you can make the case also for uh, injury prevention. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, I think that as a trainer, I remember seeing a, a lot of that. If you had some major discrepancy from left to right, um, that's you a lot of times had chronic pain. You, mm -hmm. you have this chronic pain on the on that weaker side uh, because your body is not working together. It's uh, overcompensating on one side more than the other, which causes uh, chronic pain a lot and of it times. It usually starts out like nice and subtle. I know right. for, for me, for instance, uh, just being stuck in traffic more often and having my foot on the pedal and then you know externally rotating uh, my foot and and that just like over time just um, you know continuously doing that same repetitive movement um, goes up the kinetic chain. I start to feel it in my knee. I start mm -hmm. to feel it up into the hip. Uh, and so to be able to address those individually uh, to make sure that that everything is stabilizing properly and then everything's in better alignment that way, like unilateral training is so crucial yeah. to that. I'll give you a machine that's great for this. Adam was big on this when we leg first press. started. Yeah, single, single leg, leg, leg press. press. I love that for this. I'm that's a great you, I'm exercise. I'm glad you brought it up for that. It's like I, I actually, you know that I never leg press bilateral. Once I mm -hmm. once I like introduced or started training unilateral Same. more often, and I started to leg press, I was like, because here's the way I looked at it was, m most pretty strong people can leg press, yeah, you know, it's, seven, it's eight, not ten, impressive. Let's yeah, just go I, ahead and I don't even know there. how many plates I got up to. I definitely could fill the whole thing up, right? To yeah. leg pressing, which uh, you know, as a kid, when getting to that point, I thought it was so cool, but it's just not practical. I could do half the weight with one leg and get even a better workout because I'm doing single leg, mm -hmm. and I can keep the, my legs balanced by starting with my less dominant leg let it dictate the reps that I do for that X amount of weight. And then I also save a ton of time of unracking all that weight because mm -hmm. yeah. unracking, you know, 20 plates off the leg press machine oh. just to look cool. This is, is where ridiculous. you get like all these guys like jumping on top of it. And, yeah. and uh, you know, it's like, this go do one leg, flex, go do know, one leg gym. and yeah. you'll be like, and that was like a, a goal for me was to get one leg at least caught up to half of what I could do with both. And you'll be surprised for someone who never trains this way. You might be able to leg press 10 plates, but I bet you can't do five. That's a good with point. One leg. That's a really good point. Yep. You, I think people might assume that because they're using one side, they can do half. Yeah. That's almost never the case. Mm -hmm. So if you could bench press 200 pounds, you probably can't do 100 pounds with just one hand. Now, if you get to the point That's where you can do goal. that, yes, then you go lift with two arms. You feel so solid and connected and so stable. I noticed this with single leg deadlifts. I did them for a while and then went to a traditional deadlift and it was like the bar felt, well, I mean, it felt so different. And learning how to just anchor. So if it's anchoring your hips, so they're still straight ahead, yeah. you know, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of core strength and stability. Uh, same with, yeah, if you're doing that hundred pound dumbbell uh, and trying to, to bench press that up, like just to be able to maintain, you know, a rigid structure in your body is so massively beneficial once you go back to bilateral training.